Welcome back to Technique Wad. My name is Doug Larson from the Barbell Shrug Podcast. You can find us at barbellshrug.com. Today we're going to talk about hang power cleans. So I like hang power cleans for a couple of reasons. Number one, if you're newer to weightlifting and you have poor mobility for weightlifting, um, or if you have bad leverage for weightlifting, if you're a taller person with a short torso and longer limbs, then doing a hang power clean is probably one of your better variations because you're actually going to be able to get into all the positions correctly. So if you don't know what a hang power clean looks like, it looks like this. Usually what I have new people do is just do a, a regular deadlift and then just bend over until the bar is right around mid thigh and then you can do your hang power clean from there. Right to here and then you can drop. So you saw the hang position was basically me bent at the hip with a vertical shin and a slight bend at my knee. Shoulders back, nice neutral straight spine, and then I just do my transition and my second pull, which is the explosive jump part. Okay, the jump part is debatable whether you're actually supposed to be jumping or whatever. That's a style thing, um, but that's the second pull. Excuse me. <coughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this down. We're gonna break this down and and show you the technique again. What I prefer new people to do is to do a perfect deadlift and then bend over into the hang position. I got the sneezes. Okay, so if you're a new person, you can do a regular deadlift, stand all the way up, and then you're going to keep that neutral spine and bend over just a little bit. You can see here in this hang position, the bar's right about mid thigh, shoulders are back, but it's not touching me yet, okay? It's about, it's about an inch away from my legs, okay? One of the most common errors I see is that people, they start just like this with the bar touching their, you know, right above their knee on their lower thigh. Okay, if the bar's touching you there, if I go do a regular clean and the bar touches me here, that's an automatic indication that I probably cut my first pull off too early and I'm going to end up with poor leverage on my second pull. The bar should never touch me down here on a clean. It should probably touch me right around where my hands hang. So if I'm here, and this, with bent knees, is my power position, the bar is gonna touch me right here. If you're a person who does a hip clean, where I stand and then I kinda row the weight into me just a little bit, it'll hit even higher. Okay? So, you don't wanna rest the bar. If I do a deadlift and then I bend over, I don't wanna rest the bar on my legs. I wanna have the bar floating right over my knee. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand a little bit and then push my knees under. So I stand and push my knees. I get right into this power position. I'm super heel heavy. The bar is touching my upper thigh, my shoulders back, I have good posture, and I'm bouncing on my heels. And then from there, that's where I can try to jump and shrug and pull the weight up onto my shoulders, okay? Again, I don't have to worry about, if I'm a new person, having enough mobility to get into a rock solid, good position all the way at the bottom. It's easier for me to, to do a deadlift than it is for me to get into a solid clean position where my hips are lower, my ankles are bent more. Okay. Also, when I catch, it's easier for me doing a hang power clean to catch in this power position. I'm in a quarter squat and I'm not having to catch all the way at the very bottom of my front squat. So it's a very easy movement to learn, especially for new people um, and, and people that lack mobility. I like it a lot. Um, <coughs> One of the other problems is that when you deadlift and then try to go back down into this hang position, uh, kind of like I said before, a lot of people end up in an artificial position where if they're doing a full clean with a good bar path, the, the movement or the position that they're trying to mimic right here ends up not being the same because they didn't use um, a real bar path. They created an artificial position by bending over in that kind of slight RDL position in there out of position. So if that's you and you want to end up in a better position on your, um, in your hang position, then a good idea is to do a stop clean instead. So I'm going to be here. I'm going to go through a perfect first pull. I'm going to rock towards my heels and stay bent over. And I'm just going to stop mid thigh. I have a vertical shin, shoulders and back. I still have an upright torso. And then from here, I can transition. It's going to hit me again, only on my upper thigh. And then I can jump shrug and I can catch it on my shoulders. Okay. 
So that stop clean would look like this. I'd be here, butt down, keep my posture, rock towards my heels, and then I pull and catch. Uh, so that's a variation that I like a lot because it doesn't put you in an artificial position. Uh, cameraman, did I forget anything that we discussed before the start of the show? The full clean. Yeah, we'll go over the full clean. It's basically the exact same thing. So if you want to do again, if you want to do again a deadlift and then I bend over, it's the exact same thing. I'm going to still shift and hit in the exact same spot. And then I just catch at the bottom of my at the bottom of my front squat. Likewise, if I do a stop clean, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna press my knees back until I get here. And then catch. And then catch at the bottom of my squat. So I uh, hope that helps with the hang power clean and the and the um, the hang clean where I'm catching at the full position. A little lightheaded since I didn't warm up today. Um, don't be like me, always warm up even when you're doing videos. Uh, so if you have more questions, you can always go to barbershug.com, click the ask a question tab at the top of the page, and we can, um, there's a question on there, excuse me, that says, what movements would you like to see on Technique Wad? Uh, just fill in the movements you would like to see, and we can do a Technique Wad on it in the future. If you like this video or any of our other videos, make sure to share it on your Facebook wall by clicking share, and then the Facebook icon, and then also like it. Thanks, Drug Thugs.